Welcome back, folks. In this video presentation, we're going to be going over the game Blackjack. Blackjack, as most of us know, is one of the world's most famous gambling games in a casino. Uh, you might find them in back of you know alleys and college dormitories, but the game's everywhere. And in this presentation, we're going to be going over on how to win. How to win at Blackjack. How to bring in some chips to the table and to walk away with more than what you came with. Now to do this, it is possible. you got to understand the odds. You have to understand the tips and, and uh, the strategies that I'm going to give you ahead here on becoming a winning blackjack player. Uh, first thing is I want to get off before we even start. Do not progress your bets. If you lose $25, do not bet 50 If you lose your 50 do not bet 100 Don't chase. You start chasing your bets on blackjack, you will go home broke after hitting the ATM up several times, and you'll have what we call, folks, the drive of shame. So please, if you're here to win, or here for some entertainment, take my advice and my bets here, okay? Um, I've provided right here a sheet that you can use to help determine what I should do. Let's go ahead and start. 14. Okay, when the dealer's showing a 10 and you have a 14, if you're unaware, we're going to go ahead and go over here and show you what you should do. Dealer's showing a 10, we have 14. H means hit. We've got to hit. 24, we busted. Okay, now, if you're one of them suckers and you want to start chasing your bets and bet 50 here, you know, this video presentation isn't for you because... My friend, we'll be going home 99% of the time more money than what you do. 14. The dealer is showing a 4. Okay, when the dealer is showing a 4 and you have a 14, you're supposed to stand. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, let's see if I can get a split hand here. Oh, another thing. Never, ever take insurance. Never. It's the worst thing odds you can have. Don't do it. Okay, we have 16 dollars showing a 5. It's just a stand. Now, here's a strategy I have seen some people be successful at and do. Is they clone the dealer. They copy basically the rules the dealer has. So, if a dealer is showing a 5 and you have 12, you hit. If you, if you get 15, you still hit. You hit until you hit 17. Now, statistically, it's not a bad way to play. However, you know, just a little over 5.46% house advantage. So it ain't the best strategy. And with the strategy that I'm giving you, it's bomb the book, double down on hands you're supposed to. It's less than a percent that the dealer has an advantage over you. Okay, now when you have a pair of fours and the dealer is showing a 10, you're always supposed to hit. You don't split this. 18, we're going to stand. 20. And another thing, you never split 20, no matter what. You see people in the casino doing this once in a while, don't do it. Stand. Thank me later. Okay, we have 18, the dealer is showing a 9. You stand. Now, you know, some people get a little impatient with this game, and folks, let's face it, you can't just go into a casino and expect to win a million dollars right off the bat. Okay, it just ain't going to happen. You're going to go on winning streaks, losing streaks. You know, you just never know. I mean, you can switch it up. Okay, when the dealer shows a 6 and you have a 10, you always double down. Didn't work out for us that time. 19, you stand. Okay, dealer showing 9, you have 13, you got a hit. 17, you stand. Okay, now when a dealer is showing a 10 and you have 5 or 15, saw 15 like this, okay, you just hit. Some people double down or crazy when they do that. You know, now you still have to hit 20. Nice, we won. So anyways, in this video presentation, I hope it's helped you kind of learn that you need to get yourself a chart. 
you can take them to the casinos or when you're playing online you can play it online it's it's really cool it's not against the law uh, some blackjack dealers actually encourage you to have one uh, because frankly you know you're risking your money and they're not gonna get no tips if you're losing but if you're winning they're gonna be happy because they're gonna make some money so folks always tip your dealers winning or losing but if you're winning tip more graciously I hope you enjoyed this video presentation see you next time